13 News, Kansas News Leader. This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. We've been seeing a host of financial turbulence lately from failing banks and bailouts to those interest rate and inflation discussions, volatility in the economy and looming tax increases. Carl Carlson, CEO and founder of Carlson Financial, is here to discuss some strategies to help us all navigate these things. And Carl, thank you for being here. First of Great all, to be here. I guess, how worried should we be? That it depends. depends. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, someone that's maybe just retired and you just retired and all of a sudden all of your investments drop by 25 30 percent now you're oh my gosh that person is worried and rightfully so if they haven't done the proper planning so if you're worried about what's happening right now with all of the market volatility and all that that means that you haven't built your financial house correctly. So, so what do we do to rectify that situation? Yep, so you start to look at, all right, uh, I'm nervous, uh, why? Okay, I see, I don't like these drops in the market, so I need to change my investments and move more to safety and find products that'll still give me a good return, but I don't have to worry about those products going down. You still wanna keep some things in the market and uh, you, you have to learn to deal with a little bit of volatility up and down when things are happening, when banks are failing, the market's dropping, inflation's going up, the market's dropping. So you, But you have to learn to deal with some of that. Now, that depends on how much safety you have. So somebody that's just, I just cannot, I can't stand it, then that person might have 80% of their money mm -hmm. safe and only 20% in the market. Someone else that's maybe younger, not going to retire for 15 or 20 years. Or a risk taker. Yep. <laughs> They're like, oh, I have 80% in the market. It doesn't bother me and 20% safe. So you start figuring that out. And then the other thing is, the closer you get to retirement, then you're gonna to wanna to have safe money so that when you begin taking money out of your investments, you wanna be taking money out of stocks and investments that are going up, but whenever they drop, you don't wanna sell them when they're down. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna switch and go over and take money out of your safe side when because it didn't go down. And maybe you're doing that for a year or two years or three years and then the market comes back up, you stop taking money out of the safe, you switch back to the more volatile because it's back up, and you sell some of that, replace the safe money, and off you go again, and you're just learning how to keep everything in balance. How much of that strategy, too, is if you're younger, historically, over time, the market corrects itself. So there's, if you're younger, there's time for those recoveries to happen. Yes. Do you need to be, as you are older, a little bit more conservative, or at least have more in that safe pool? Yeah, I would say normally if you're going to rely on your investments for income. So maybe maybe you don't have a pension mm -hmm. and your Social Security is not going to be enough. So you have to rely on taking money out of your investments in retirement. Probably at about age 50, you need to start shifting some things to a little bit more on the safe side. Okay. And this, this potential, you can find investments on the safe side that can earn five, six, seven, eight percent a year. So you don't have to be limited to, oh my gosh, I'm only gonna make two percent over here and then take too much risk. And it's so easy to think, you know, these banks are in California and New York that have failed here in the recent months. It's easy to think, well, it's not here and I don't have my money directly in that bank. But is it just, is, is the reason it concerns us because of the overall impact it has? Yeah, it Im impacts your stocks. So okay. when a bank fails somewhere, the whole, economy starts to rattle a little bit, especially when two or three or four do, and they're big ones. Then the market drops, and now all of a sudden, there goes your 401k or your investments that you were gonna take money out of for income. So here, once again, as Carl always tells us, having a plan, a plan in place and regularly revisiting that plan and adjusting. Yep, exactly. Always good to remember. Carl Carlson, appreciate you being here. You bet, good to be here. We're gonna get you up to date on the forecast situation next.